Now I think it's time to um, give you more of a detailed review on uh, the different compartments and how much stuff you can actually fit in this uh, backpack, the Mind Shift Gear backlight, 36 liter. Today I packed it up with a lot more than I would normally carry. It's uh, it's close to 23 kilos or uh, 50 pounds, so uh, I wouldn't carry this much stuff for any longer distances. Uh, so it's just to give you um, give you um, an idea of how much you can actually fit. So I'm going to stop over here to um, open it up and see what I've brought, what the different compartments are like, and the different ways to attach a tripod or several tripods if you if you like. So j let's see if we can find a nice spot. I just brought some plastic to uh, to use when I put the backpack down so I don't get that much snow into into the backpack and, and into all my gear. I'm actually quite close to my home today. Uh, I'm just here to uh, give you the review and afterwards I'm going to make a review uh, a comparison between the Canon 100 to 400 versus the Canon 300 f4 and the Sigma 500 f4.5. So as you can see I've attached my my larger tripod to the to the front tripod tripod mount. Um, so I have attached the tripod with this um, uh, this tripod mount here down the middle of the backpack. It's also possible to use these side pockets. Actually, I kind of prefer it that way um, because then it's easier to access the front compartments. And these are the straps to secure the tripod when you use the side mount. Uh, one thing I'm not very uh, keen on is these. Uh, you have to open these flaps to um, to widen the straps. It's something I don't really like because it makes it more difficult to tighten the straps, and um, I feel like that's something that could break uh, eventually. The strap for securing the tripod is tucked away in this pouch up here. So that's actually a good solution. And the bottom one is... It's also got a secure compartment here. As for when you're not using it, I used the other side pocket here to uh, to secure my my gimbal head. Um, and these are very useful for water bottles or tripods or, as in this case, my my gimbal head. Um, I used this one, and there are numerous of these smaller straps, so I just used it to to secure the gimbal. And as I mentioned before, it's uh, it's called backlight, and it opens from the back. So that means when I when I put it down, the back portion doesn't get dirty or wet. So when I put it on my back again, I don't have to get dirty or wet. Now, as I mentioned, I'm. I'm carrying way too much uh, gear today, and it's just to to show you what's possible. Um, I've actually got all my tele lenses: uh, the Canon 100 to 400, um, the Sigma 500 uh, mounted on a 6D, and also the Canon 300 mm f/4. And I've still got room for. A 24 to 105 millimeter, um, and I've got room for for a teleconverter here. 
power bank, loom cubes, flashlight, some extra stuff. And what's really useful is that the compartments in, in the backpack are, are rearrangeable. You can remove the, the walls and uh, insert them wherever you want to, um, to fit the gear you're carrying at the moment. Um, if you if you compare with my uh, my mini review of the backpack, uh, you can see from the footage that there are uh, all of the compartments are in the backpack, so there are room for there's room for quite a lot of uh, smaller lenses. Um, and here I have removed uh, almost all of them to fit fit my larger lenses. These pockets can fit uh, extra batteries, remotes, anything you want. These are mesh pockets, so you can see what, what you have there. This strap is actually for when you're carrying the backpack on your back um, and you want to get something out from the backpack without removing it. You can uh, loosen the, the chest strap and just swing the backpack around, keeping the the, the waist strap uh, secured and then you can actually flip it forward and and open it to get something out and then this strap here is to attach uh, attach around your neck so the lid doesn't close I'm not going to show that now because with all these tele lenses in it's it's not gonna work and speaking of all the tele lenses as I said I, I've loaded it up with um, a little bit over 50 pounds of weight uh, 23 kilos it works but I'm not sure I would trust the backpack to be able to hold that kind of weight for uh, any longer period of time. I'm not saying it's going to break but it it, it didn't feel uh, very well. So we, even if it's possible to load it up with this much weight I I feel like these um, these straps here they're not really cut out for for that type of weight. All of these plastic things uh, I kind of feel that they could break uh, if you overload it. Up here is the top compartment for uh, where the rain cover is kept. But of course you can also put your keys or your wallet or something here. Uh, it's almost like a hidden compartment, so it's, it's kind of nice. Now, about fitting stuff into the front compartment. Um, it's actually got more room than you would think initially. I'm just going to remove my tripod here first. There's a smaller front uh, pocket. I've used it for mini flashlight, uh, a knife, maybe some multi-tools, something to sit on. Well, that's about it. Um, you can of course use it for whatever you like. But it's quite handy to have this, uh, this smaller compartment uh, in the front. This is the main front compartment and it's it's really big, uh, it really is. I've got a mosquito net, a plastic bag for if I have to store some trash in it, toilet paper, rain cover for my camera, and for the tele lens if, it, if it's raining. I've put three different sized bottles, uh, a water bottle, smaller thermos, larger thermos, some clothes, uh, and it's still got room for a 15 inch laptop. Uh, normally I don't use a laptop when I'm uh, walking around. So as you can see it's really got room for a lot of stuff. Uh, normally I might uh, use the side compartments for one of these bottles or thermos flasks. Uh, but this was just to show you, give you an idea of how much stuff you can actually fit in here. And as you can see this front compartment is really big. I don't carry a laptop normally but uh, you, you could of course use this for extra clothes or something else. A few smaller compartments for memory cards cell phone, anything you like. 
There's also the possibility to, to attach additional straps all along the front here. It's got this type of construction where you can uh, attach something, hang something. So what I really like about this backpack is it, it's, it's a bit too big for me uh, and that gives me the opportunity to bring more gear than I need. Uh, but it also gives me the, the opportunity to uh, to have some extra room in the backpack after I finish packing all my gear. I really don't like backpacks where you have to fight to get uh, every last bit of gear in, into it because then when you want to use it, when you want to get something out, you have to remove something else to to even get the stuff out and I, I really don't like that. So um, that's one of the advantages with uh, using this kind of oversized backpack. Is it for camping, uh, longer hiking trips? No, it's not. I would say it's for day trips. You can bring some food, some water, coffee, uh, extra clothes, but it's not really big enough to, to bring gear for several days of hiking or camping. Then, you, then you'd have to get a, a dedicated camping, hiking backpack. The only weakness I, I see with this backpack is that I think the, the straps are a bit too... Uh, they feel too thin. The padding on, on the shoulder straps is that it's nice, but the shoulder straps where they are attached at the waist strap feels kind of like a, a weak link. So I might get back to you after using this backpack for a little bit longer time. I'm planning on using it uh, this spring. So overall I think this is a really solid backpack and it's a really good value for money and um, um, I think I'm going to be happy with it. I had my previous backpack for 10 to 12 years so I hope this one will serve me well for at least the same amount of time. Might give you an updated review when I've had some more field testing with it. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, review of the backpack and uh, I'll see you in my next video.